Welcome back to my channel. So today I bring you a smoky dramatic wing with glowy skin and a black lip. I don't know what to call this tutorial, but it will come to me when I'm editing. But nonetheless, this is a dark lip. I have wanted to do a black lip. I'm actually on my way to the NYX Cosmetics after party for IMATS. No, I did not go to IMATS, but I did go to the after party with NYX. And this is what I'm wearing. So flashback. Um, hello to everyone that was at the party. Hey, we had a good time. Maybe this is good for memories. But yes, I'm so excited for this look. It's glowy. It's pretty. Oh, and the wig is gray. So I asked my friend um, Gabriel if I should wear the wig. And he was like, why not? This is a great wig from Wow African. I hope you guys like it. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see next. And I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Hey guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this Benefit Professional. I cannot live without this. You see me these boys? Mm-mm, not today, not today, Satan, not today. As you can see, as I apply it, my skin turns super matte, and I love this. And to continue the super matte theme that we're going for, I'm gonna take this Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I love this foundation so much, and it's full coverage, and it is exactly my skin tone and I'm using this with the Morphe M459 buffing brush and I'm just pressing this into the skin. You can already see how flawless my skin looks. It's like literally full coverage. And to further the full coverage theme, I'm going to take full coverage foundation by MAC and highlight the face with it. And this is in the color NC20 and I love using this everywhere. This is just how I do it. This is just how it goes. I'm gonna take this G2 brush by Morphe. It is like a beauty blender on a stick and I'm just going to blend out the concealer slash foundation with um, that brush which I love and I'm going to take my trusty ear spun. This is my ride or die. I cannot live without her. She is yet. Yeah, see, see how much we get along? Yes God. Oh my God. It is the best. So next I'm going to take this shadow called Frappe by Makeup Geek. It is amazing and I'm going to take this with an E40 brush by Sigma and this is just simply going to be my transition color. Next, I'm going to take Bling Eyeshadow by Anastasia, and I rarely highlight my brow, but today, God was just telling me, just go for it. Just just go for it and highlight that damn brow, because we finna go to a party tonight. Next, on that same E40 brush, I'm going to take this color Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek. It is a brick-rich color, and this eyeshadow look can be worn literally with everything a red lip a black lip a white lip a green lip a blue lip you name it this is just a simple smoky eye which can be worn anywhere with anything so i'm gonna take this dark shadow oh i think it's called hot chocolate or beauty mark by anastasia yes beauty mark and it is going to go in the outer corner of the eye and i'm gonna take this um, like in a V shape. This is the newest palette that I have in my kit. It is the Natasha Denona palette and I'm taking that on a flat brush by Sigma. And I'm patting this all over the eye. It is a beautiful shimmery champagne color and I'm going to just pat this all over. Next I'm going to take this hot chocolate frosty shadow in that same palette and transition that shimmery champagne shade into the dark um, beauty marked shade on the outer corner. So that goes for the eyeshadows. Next, I'm going to take this super fierce wing and wing it out. I'm super happy with the blend of my eye. I'm pretty impressed, y'all. Oh my god. Um, just we're going to go for a super wing. And next, we're just going to curl the lashes with the Shiseido Lash Curler. 
Next, we're going to take the lashes, curl them up to Jesus like we always do with the Benefit Roller Mascara, which is by far my favorite. And take these double stacked mink lashes by Lily Lashes in the style Miami and Monaco. This was such a good combo. I just love stacking old lashes and just making them anew. Next, we're going to dust off the airspun using the Pro Finish Powder. People always ask if I get an ashy look. This is how I um, prevent that. You see, the ashiness is gone. And I'm going to contour with the E42 brush by Morphe using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark as my bronzer. This is the best. Oh, I look really orange. But to counteract the orange, I'm going to highlight with a light mineral powder by MAC in the color Light Plus. I'm going for this really dramatic, dragalicious look. This is my favorite blush ever. It is captivating because it's just captivating. And it's by Tarte, the Amazonian clay. And now to snatch my nose, I'm gonna take Hula Bronzer and just go right up the sides and snatch it. Next, I'm going to take Coco Bear by Makeup Geek and smoke out the under eye because the top is really dramatic. So I want the bottom to be as proportion to the top. And I'm going to take the mascara Extended Play by MAC, my favorite mascara, and run this on my lower lashes. And on the inner rim of the eye, I'm going to take a chromographic pencil by MAC to widen the eyes for an innocent version look. For the lips, I'm going to take ColourPop's gel pencil in the color Swerve because we want them big lips, y'all. And next, I'm going to take the Tarte Tartist gel or cream gel liner and use this as my lipstick because I could not afford a liquid lipstick that's black. So this completes the finish look. Look. And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for all the love on Instagram. We are almost at 1 million. Follow me on social media. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends. Tell your husband. Tell your kids. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Am I going too high? No. Okay, then I'll just keep it low. Question, how do you feel about arm hair? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can It's called human nature, okay?